I couldn't believe it. On a Christian call-in radio show, a caller said, It's okay for Christians to lie. After all, Jesus lied to his own brothers. Wait a minute. Jesus lied? Jesus is God. Jesus never lied. Where did he get that? Well, it turns out his Bible is missing an important word, and that missing word turned Jesus into a liar. I'm David Daniels, author of the book, Look What's Missing. Let me tell you what happened. The caller was referring to John chapter 7. In it we find that Jesus had been in Galilee for the last few months. The Jewish leaders wanted Jesus dead. Jesus knew that. But man wasn't going to determine when Jesus would die for the sins of mankind. He had a time that he had chosen, and this was not it. So he stayed in Galilee. Meanwhile, the Feast of Tabernacles had come. That was one of the three feasts where every Jewish male had to go up to Jerusalem. Jesus' four half-brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, they're all ready to go. They're in the caravan saying, come on, Jesus, let's go. But he's not budging. What's Jesus going to do? He has two options. A, he can stay and for the first time in his life disobey the law that he gave to Moses. Or B, he could go and show himself to the priests and get himself killed before the time he had chosen. What would he do? Well, according to this caller's Bible, Jesus said, you go up I'm not going up to this feast. And he stayed in Galilee. But a little while later, there Jesus is in Jerusalem. According to that Bible, Jesus lied to his brothers. How would they ever believe him again when he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life? Wait a second. If Jesus lied and God never lies, how could Jesus be God? Do you see where this is going? Ouch! The caller was saying, Jesus lied. And so can we, if we have a good reason. They went on talking, and the caller said, I think we have a little wiggle room. The host laughed and said, that's what we call it, wiggle room. Listen, if you start talking about wiggle room in your Bible, you've got a problem. There is no wiggle room in the King James Bible. I've got news for you. The host was a Christian college professor. Do you know what he should have said? He should have said, wait a minute, your Bible's missing an important word. What is that word? Three letters. Y-E-T. Yet. Here's what a real Bible says. John 7, verse 8. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. And saying these things, he stayed in Galilee. That makes perfect sense. Jesus didn't go up then, but after his family had gone up, he went up secretly. So one, he kept the law of Moses, and two, he didn't expose himself to the priests and an early death. Do you see what a problem that one little word can make? One missing word could turn Jesus into a liar. How many lies does it take to make a liar? Just one. So, if Jesus lied, what would that make him? A liar. Hebrews 6.18 says that it is impossible for God to lie. So, if it's impossible for God to lie and Jesus lied, what would that make him? Not God. Revelation 21.8 says all liars are going to the lake of fire. Are they going to say that Jesus is going to the lake of fire? This is absurd. How could anybody believe this? Do you hear where all this is going? It's absurd. It's crazy. And it's all from just one missing word in one verse. But you know what? It's not just this version. I found 20 different Bible versions missing that important word yet. And that's just one verse. In my book, there are over 250 different verses, missing whole words, phrases, even verses. And they're important. Everybody knows 
there's problems with the Jehovah's Witness Bible. But did you know that five of the most popular Bibles are missing more words, phrases, and verses than the JW Bible? Evangelicals believe a doctrine have through the centuries. It's found in one specific Bible verse. Did you know that 29 modern Bibles are missing that verse? What about the Trinity? Did you know that the best verse to explain the Trinity is removed in 37 of the 40 Bibles I reviewed for this book? You know, you can tell a lot about what a person believes or doesn't believe by what he takes out of his Bible. God made a promise to preserve his words. God kept his promise by preserving his words through faithful followers in different languages through the centuries. And those words are preserved in English in the King James Bible. It's not missing a thing. I can't say that about the other 40 Bible versions. Is a version you like in this list? You need to find out. If you really care about God and his words, make sure you don't put your trust in a Bible that's missing something.